I don't know what they get out of it, but I mean, it just, it's just upsetting. It's the question of why that puzzles Darren Elias. He's searching for a reason a man targeted his business over the weekend. Cameras mounted to the building tell only part of the story. Surveillance video shows a sedan pulling in behind his office. Watch as a man gets out and approaches Darren's patrol car. I wasn't sure what they were doing, so I got out and I was watching them from the cameras just to see what they were doing, and I noticed he was fidgeting with the vehicle. From his phone, he watched in horror. I thought maybe he was going to break into the car just because of the way he was acting and he was standing right at the door handle of the vehicle. So Darren went outside to confront him. Asked him, hey, what are you doing? He jumped in the vehicle and immediately took off. What the business owner discovered next broke his heart. The man was urinating on the door handle to his patrol car. I feel violated, you know, just I I don't understand why somebody would do some kind of act like that. It's not the first time the security professional was targeted. He's also been hit by fuel thieves on more than one occasion. There's visibly cameras everywhere around this facility. I don't understand why you would even risk doing something like that. But he remains upbeat as he helps to secure local neighborhoods. This day and age, you never know what's going to go on, even from the friendly guy that comes knocking on your door. I mean, you should always be apprehensive of anybody. I mean, you have to almost nowadays. Reporting for The Signal. I'm Austin Dave.